Good evening. Starting tonight with breaking news. We're learning now that Kern County hospitals will be taking intensive care unit patients from other counties if that county runs out of beds. According to Kern County Public Health, the process is to pull hospitals in other counties for availability to take out of county transfers. This is part of the California mutual aid system. According to the California Department of Public Health, right now the San Joaquin Valley is at 4.5% ICU capacity overall. A Kern County Superior Court judge has issued a preliminary injunction which will protect some Catholic churches from COVID-19 restrictions. 23 ABC's Bain Froney breaks down the lawsuit and why religious leaders are critical of the state's handling of the restrictions. Bain. That's right, Jess. Now, only one church here in Kern County is affected by this lawsuit. But, you know, Pastor Frazier with River Walks Community Church believes that this is a stepping stone in the right direction for other churches to eventually start opening and having their services again. I just happen to believe the church is essential and we we will always be. And so I think this is great news. It's news that many religious leaders like local pastor Angelo Frazier are celebrating. In October, a lawsuit was filed by Father Trevor Burfitt, who oversees Catholic churches in California. He filed against Governor Gavin Newsom and other Kern County officials over the lockdown measures put in place due to COVID-19, restricting churches from holding in-person services. On Thursday, Superior Judge Gregory Pulskamp issued the injunction which will protect some churches from those restrictions. That does not satisfy strict scrutiny, and uh, those restrictions were deemed unconstitutional, and an injunction was granted in favor of Father uh, Trevor Burfitt and his uh, five churches. Included in the lawsuit are Kern County Public Health Director Matt Constantine, Sheriff Donnie Youngblood, and Bakersfield Police Chief Greg Terry for their enforcement of pandemic-related health orders. You can't have a favored class of entities, uh, which California has, these essential businesses that are treated better than houses of worship. Which Pulse Camp's ruling stated that members of this court are not public health experts, and we should respect the judgment of those with special expertise and responsibility in this area. But even in a pandemic, the Constitution cannot be put away and forgotten. Pastor Angelo Frazier with River Lakes Community Church believes that while this lawsuit doesn't directly affect his church, it is a positive for the faith community. Yeah. Well, I think it's an encouragement for those of us in the faith community that. Uh, we can, according to the First Amendment, worship freely. Jonah believes that there will be more cases similar to this one in the near future for churches to start opening up. In Bakersfield, Bain Froney, 23 ABC, connecting you.